It is so comfortable inside of the brand new Ace 29.5. Welcome back, Steve DeVal from Thor Motor Coach. Wanted to take a little time this afternoon and talk to you about the brand new floor plan in the Ace lineup, the 29.5. You're gonna get a king bed, theater seats, a new drivetrain, all coming in under 32 feet. This is a wonderful motor home, 30 feet, 11 inches. On this one, your height's gonna be 12 feet, two inches. So be aware when you're traveling, if the bridge says 12 feet, you're probably gonna have some problems. So 12 feet, two inches on this. We're gonna start up front. We're gonna walk around to the side, all the way back to the exterior kitchen, and then we will show you the beautiful interior. And it is in the home collection, which is absolutely gorgeous. It just brightens it up. It livens it up. It's light, it's airy. It's a great living space, plus it's a little cooler out there. I'm not gonna complain about the weather. It is Indiana. We don't have a lot of these days left. Sunshine, beautiful day for camping. Fall's coming, so why not go in the Ace? And, and what really makes the Ace special is for those of you thinking about getting into a motorhome, you're not quite sure what you want. Maybe, or maybe you have a Class C and you're getting ready to trade up. The meaning behind Ace, it's the best features of a Class A, the best features of a Class C, it is the evolution of both. And you'll see when we go in that you have a lot of the same features. Um, and for an entry level Class A motor homeboy, it certainly doesn't look, feel, or drive like it. A lot of it has to do with the brand new Ford F53 chassis that your Ace rides on. We're talking 350 horsepower, 468 pound feet of torque, gonna give you an 8,000 pound hitch. And the way the brow sticks out, gonna cast a little, a little shade for you when you're driving so it's not as sunny and We'll show you all the storage you have inside when you put that drop down overhead bunk down. Your heated remote mirrors right here. What's really nice about these when you're driving is there's an integrated camera right here. So when you turn on your directional on the uh, new infotainment center inside, 10 inch touch screen, that is gonna turn into a camera monitor and you're gonna get a nice clear view right down the side when you're turning. You can see if somebody is coming up for you, which is also the purpose of this window. I mean, some people call it, a, it's a pet window, yeah, so your dogs can look out of there, but it's also a great safety feature as well. Uh, some call it a trucker's window, so you can see, is there, is there a smart car parked here? Is there a motorcycle sitting right here? So you can be aware of that, look out of there to see the uh, traffic, and of course, the dogs will love this because the Ace is also your pet-friendly pet motor home. We'll show you some of the great pet-friendly uh, features of this as well. As we walk down the side here, you have your nice awning, your power patio, and the switches are right here on the door. You simply press out to go out, in to go in. There is a light for it as well. The light is on, it's nice, the sun's right in my eyes here, so this is actually gonna help out uh, really nice. Cast a lot of shade here, and the nice thing is, is about this, is you can see the yellow tags on the arm, that's how you uh, adjust the pitch, you just literally pull down and you can adjust the pitch. So if there's a lot of water sitting up top for some reason, you can go ahead, pitch that down, and the water will roll right off. Couple of things with the awnings though, you don't really want it to fill up with water in the event that it is storming out. Go ahead and bring that in. Same thing if you are traveling, you're leaving your campsite, go ahead and bring that in even at night. Uh, walking down the side here, you have your gravity-fed water fill, your fresh water tank here. You can go ahead and put your hose in there and uh, 50 gallons on that and away you go. Okay, you got 50 gallons. When you start to trickle out, you know you're full, but uh, you're gonna fill this up, put on your cap, and now you have water to wash dishes or for the shower, for the sink. A lot of great storage options out here in your 29.5. Your nice rotocast storage bay is right here. It's your water tank and when you're done, you wanna drain it, you simply turn the lever, and, and when you want to winterize, which is about time to do, I know we're getting to that time of year, but you can go ahead and turn that and drain your tank nice, fast, easy, nice one inch valve there. Getting into here, you're gonna have your uh, two house batteries sitting right in here and your pet tie-down link. This is one of the great pet friendly features. So you take your leash, you run it up through here, you clip it right through here, you run it back down. Now your dog is tied right up to camp because dogs love traveling. We love traveling with our pets when we can. And uh, if you take a travel with your pets, love to see pictures of your pets. Always, always, always. Another very large storage bay here. The other nice thing about the Rotocast, and we've talked about this quite a few times, but they have a, a drain plug. 
So you can literally get in here with the hose, hose this thing out, wash it out, put the drain back in, and you're good for next time. I also have an exterior TV. If you are into outdoor drive-in movies, well, here you go. Wherever you happen to be, the Ace has got you covered. It is on a swivel. You pull it out. You adjust it to any angle you want. You can put it right back in there. And the sound is routed through this Bluetooth uh, sound bar. And what's nice about this, one, it gives you a better sound experience. And it is a Bluetooth sound bar. It's got a radio function on there as well, so you can tune in local stations. Or you can simply pair your device up and you can listen to all your favorite music outside, except during quiet time. Have you ever been yelled at during quiet time? <laughs> Not saying I have, but uh, some people, when quiet time is 10 o'clock, that means 9.59. It's just, a, just obey the quiet time rules wherever you are. That's one of the great things about this. You can uh, plug in whatever you need. You have 110 watt outlets out here when you are uh, camping and you're off the grid because you have the water tank, you have a 40 gallon black tank, a 40 gallon gray tank on this, you can stay off the grid and you don't have a quiet time. You can party like a rock star in your ACE. Propane fill is right here. Uh, you have your shutoff valve, you have a gauge right here, you have a bleeder valve. So this is going to power your exterior propane connection, which I am standing by right here. So it's going to give you Power to that, so gas to that, not power. It's going to give you gas. <laughs> My ace gave me gas. That's not something you want to hear. Um, but you do have an exterior propane connection to hook up your grill, and the propane also going to fire up your water heater. All right? Uh, as we take a look back here, I love that you got yourself an exterior kitchen on this. Now, this is a fantastic feature. So you're outside, you have water out here, you have plugs. You have a 110 fridge right here, so that means this ACE is going to give you a 1,000 watt inverter. So you can camp out, you can watch TV, you can set up some chairs, and that. put some tasty snacks in there, some sandwiches on the road for you, a lot of great storage. You have a light out here. This is the home collection, this nice white cabinet tree out here. We even have it for you outside with drawers and out back as we shut this for you. You do have your ladder, you have a steel bumper. One of the nice things on the ACE about having that steel bumper in the event somebody parks their ACE this close to you and you accidentally bang into them, steel bumper there, gonna be much, much easier to replace. If we climbed up top, you would see we do have solar on this. Uh, 100 watts of solar is optional. We do happen to have it prepped on this coach and uh, it's a one-piece TPO roof. So your black tank flush is gonna be on the other side. Um, as well as a couple other storage bays for you, but this is the exterior of the 29.5. I can't wait to show you inside. Tom, I'll let you walk in first. A couple of features that are great on this, even right here in the step well, you do have a little storage drawer in here. You can keep some rags or some cleaners right here, throw the muddy shoes right in here. Some people I have seen use this as a litter box for their, their pets. You put a little litter box in there and your cats. There's a bee in here that I'm going to uh, kind of shoo out because Tom would instantly fall to the ground should that be attacked. So we're going to get the bee out of here and keep Tom safe. Uh, right over here there's a solar controller for your 100 watts of solar. Light switches for your step. You have a nice light on your step here for a night light. This here will keep your step out. So if you're at camp and you're coming in and out constantly, you can go ahead and keep your step out. Just remember to flip the switch. So when you drive away that your step does indeed come in. This is how we put out the awning and this is your battery disconnect switch, which you're going to want to keep on the entire time. We'll go ahead and start with the dash because there's a lot of great features uh, up here. You have this pedestal table. So when you are streaming live, you can pull it up right here and, and watch your live stream uh, I'm just going to move this out of the way real quick, Tom. I'll tell you what, where would this go? Perfect. Hmm. Hmm. How about our flip-out dash workstation? Yep. Down below, you have 110 outlets, 12-volt outlets, and this actually flips out. So when the driver is driving and the passenger is passengering, they can sit right in there and do some work, send off some emails, whatever, because it does have the WineGuard Connect 2.0 4G hotspot and Wi-Fi extender. Real easy to use. All you have to do is just scan the QR code. You can purchase your data plan or you can actually use your own SIM card, which is really a nice feature. So 
If you like the carrier you're with and you have a SIM card, you can go up top on the roof through the ladder we just showed you, and you take out a couple of screws, you put in your SIM card, then you download the app. Now you have data wherever you happen to be. Great setup up here. Ford really uh, did a great job updating this dash. Uh, that new V8 sounds great. The V8 sounds great. Over here, your one-touch leveling jack, so when you're setting up the camp, simply push on your parking brake, have the ignition running, hit auto, and you will level. You can also manually level the coach if you need. Heated remote mirrors, you have speakers, auto headlights, so just set them to auto. Emergency start in the event your coach does not start. You can actually pull power from your house batteries to your chassis battery. Number of gauges up here in steering wheel controls, and look at this, how about that? for your radio, so you can go ahead and control your radio over here with your thumb, you can control your menus over here, you have cruise control, we have traction control, we have your hazard lights, your air conditioning, and over here we have Android Auto, we have Sirius XM, and this is great, you just take, if you have the Android Auto app, you plug in your phone, and you can mirror, look just like this, your phone will come up, and everything that is on your phone is now right up here on your screen. You're going to have Google Maps pulled up here. Uh, you have a couple of different apps of your phone, Amazon Music, Calendar. So some great features on here, uh, whether you're an Apple user or an Android user. Love this. I love having this feature on your trips. As we go ahead and shut it down. You spin the civil, uh, swivel captain's chairs around. This makes a great place to sit here, play a game, read a book, catch up on work. You have cup holders uh, right over here. And up above, a lot of features to talk about. Storage is really, really spectacular just in this section up in the Ace as it is very, very family friendly. Notice we have all these cargo nets here, your conversation mirror. So when you're driving and if someone is seated over at the booth or you have them seated at the, the dinette, you can look up there and kind of be a part of the conversation or you can play bus driver. Just give, the, just give the stare. Don't know what you're talking about. Kids get that. Overhead bunk, all right? A little key-operated overhead bunk. Put your key in, turn the key, hit lower. Just like that, your bunk comes down. Now, you have a wonderful place to sleep. And we talked about that brow sticking out, right? Now, look how deep these storage bays are. These are really wonderful. You can fit uh, a number of backpacks up here. Kids can put their stuffed animals up here, the tablets and computers. If you have valuables when you are uh, going out, wherever it may be, adventuring, you put your valuables up there. If you're in an odd town, you raise this bunk, you put it back into place, lock it up, take the key, it's like a safe. Now, I do want to show you a really neat new feature on where we keep the ladder. So we'll spin around here, Tom. Oh, these ACs are working great. This unit has the optional two, uh, two 13.5 BTU ACs with the 50 amp shore power. You can get the 115, uh, but this has uh, the two 13s. The ladder is stored right in here, clips right into place, pulls out. So real, and there's extra storage under here. So you just pull the ladder out at night. You have a place to store it. You make Tom walk backwards really fast. He avoids the dinette. You put your ladder right up here and. Look at that. So even, even if you have the bunk down and you're set up at camp, I'm uh, the Department of Transportation has me at just about six foot one. I can sit under here. I can sit under here and enjoy, and the kids can be up there. Just me. I, I would not drive like this. <laughs> so don't think, oh, this can be down and the kids can be up here now. Make sure the bunk is up when you are indeed driving. Now over here to the chairs, we have a couple of options. This has the theater seats. If you are a sofa or couch person, you can do that as well, just pull a lever, and now, theater seats, you can keep the remote or some other little trinkets in there, some Slim Jims, some M&Ms, whatever you like, cups here, and boop, you got yourself a TV right over there. Have a little conversation at the dinette, and this is really nice, the dinette here. Tom, we'll spin around and we will show you the dinette. Uh, can seat four, all right, seat four comfortably, have meals here, and here is something, uh, especially Craig, I know Craig, you uh, like that. You like that campsite dinette. Craig, this is for you. We have our campsite dinette in here, which is great. So if you're outside and you got a great view, you're over here at night, you flip a lever, you move your cushions, and this becomes a bed. One of the options on this is your uh, child safety tether right over here. And we do have a couple options in this. I know I, I'm not 
usually when I'm doing these and I'm talking to someone, I'm not on my phone messing around, I'm reading comments, but because it's just me, I'll tell you, if you're asking the MSRP on this particular unit right now, as of today, is uh, 14379. You have a couple of options in there, the, the, the home collection, the Ivory Coast, cabinets in estate gray uh, decor which is really nice now one thing that uh, to keep in mind if you do do this and you'll in this is really what is selling right now we are everything we comes off is in this home collection only clean these with water okay just a damp rag these things will clean right up you don't want to use any harsh abrasives or cleaners because you will ruin the beautiful finish on this but just a couple options into the dual uh, the dual ACs and the 50 amp service and your 100 watt solars in the and the child safety tether. So those are your options on this. Great seating here. You move into the kitchen, a nice cooking area here. Uh, you have your large sink. You have the sprayer. Notice how we tied in the home collection with the accents. Everything matches. It really is just a, it's a warm, nice, inviting look. I love it. Uh, I, I, I love the look of this home collection. You do have roomy countertops. You have a number of drawers. Your remotes are in here. You can keep them wherever you want. You can throw them all in the theater seats there. You have storage down below. You have an oven with your nice blue lights that make nice ambient light. You have this under the counter lighting, which is classes it up, as I like to say, classes up the joint. The lights class up the joint here. You can turn those on or off as well with all these switches. So these control your lights. This also makes a nice night light. You can use the stove lights as a nice light. Night, li nice night light. That is going in the tongue twister book. Glass cover on your stove. Keep that down when you're driving. You do have a larger oven you can use as well. This lights just like uh, you would any, pretty, pretty self-explanatory right there. You turn the gas on, make sure your propane's on. Turn it to light, hit your igniter. You are good to go, whatever it is you are doing. Three burners, too, so you can get them all going here. We'll spin around. We'll show you the bathroom. This is a great bathroom. Uh, a real nice bathroom in here. A lot of room. You got your sink. You have your shower. Lots of cabinets. Hang your towel. GFCI outlet right here. Beautiful bathroom. Uh, a fan up above. So you're set in here. I mean, this is good. You have the, 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 the pocket door, just like that. And, and because we talk about pet friendly features, you have a built in dog dish right under the shower there. So while you are in the bathroom, your dogs can come in and have a snack because <laughs> that's what dogs do. They have no sense of privacy. But now you can keep this open. It's really a nice tucked away place. You can put the food, you can put the drinks in there. It's out of the way, but when you are gone, you just pull that out and, and they have a nice little place to uh, eat and drink. So a nice bathroom set up in here as well. You can put the towels on display, the guest towels that you're not allowed to use. Those are for guests. You can't use those towels. You can go ahead and put those in there. You also have a double door fridge with freezer. And what's nice about this is you can just set your mode to auto. You can adjust the temperature, keep your snowflakes on cold. So whether you're plugged into shore power, you're running off your generator, you have gas on, it'll, uh, it'll run for you. And it's actually been on, so it's actually nice and cold back. I got some, some ice going. So I'll go ahead and turn that off. And then we are into the bedroom, a nice king size bed. Look at that. King size bed, your own AC unit over here. You have 12 volts and USB ports. So if you need a CPAP machine, you can plug that in there and you have a place to set it. You have two USB ports over there. You have two up here. You can keep your devices charged. Nice large wardrobes back here. That table up front when you're traveling actually pops right into here. All right, so you snap it into place. There's a place for the legs so it's convenient. You can still hang all your clothes. You have lights in the wardrobe. Very large, very large wardrobe. You have one, two, three, four, five, six drawers over here. A couple of drawers in the nightstand. You have a TV that lifts up for even more storage back here. There's your AC control for the bedroom. You have USB ports over here. You have 110. You have lights. Nice little dresser top out there to display, to display books and a sign. This doesn't come with it, but it'd be nice if it did, right? A little family sign act looks really nice. Classing it up. This is a brand new Ace 29.5. Beautiful addition to the Ace lineup. A number of other floor plans as well that 
you can find on thormotorcoach.com or if you'd like to take a preview of all the floor plans and sort of a, 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 a fun music video style tour, you can do that on our YouTube channel. All, well, most of our 2021 model year videos are up. And tonight, Outlaw C goes live at 8 o'clock. If you are interested in the toy hauler lineup, I think I want a Class C toy hauler. What does the Outlaw C have to offer? I want to hear all about it set to some cool music. You can watch that tonight on YouTube, 8 o'clock, okay? If you have not subscribed, go ahead, subscribe to the channel. Click the little bell so you get a reminder and you can go ahead and keep up to date, not only with all of the, the new floor plans and the model year videos, but we also have how-to videos, a lot of customer service videos, a lot of helpful videos that can really help you, sometimes help you get out of a jam. We have had uh, people write in and, and something has happened. They have gotten their motors out of sync and they're not they're, they're like oh i didn't know how to get my motors back into sync and if you have two three four five six oh the motor's not on that's why they're not going your motor has to be on for this but if your motor is on you could go ahead and reset your motors right through uh right through there a short little quick little shortcut but thanks to the youtube videos they have found that out so go ahead and check out all of our social media platforms great tools tips we have a blog for you that comes out every saturday that uh is a lot of fun, you know, a lot of different topics that people are talking about right now because a lot of people are adventuring in motorhomes. It's really a great way to travel as people are out and kind of experiencing social distancing in their own way. So check those out. We have a couple new floor plans that we were able to line up this week and get together. We've walked through a lot. One floor plan in particular people want to see, and uh, it's right out that window behind the Outlaw Sea, okay? The Outlaw C video airs tonight behind it. Brand new Compass all wheel drive. That thing, I'll tell you what, I like a lot driving so many of these, but I, I'm just gonna throw it out there. That Compass Gemini and that new Transit with the all wheel drive is probably my favorite motorhome to drive. It's wonderful. We're gonna walk you through that tomorrow. Uh, brand new hurricane decors and floor plans to show you. We're going to do that tomorrow as well. So it's really kind of a fun week uh, where we just lined up a bunch of great stuff to show you. We're answering your questions. So if you have questions, the, the factory reps are out here, our product development team, I can get to answers for you. So go ahead, ask away. We will do our best to get you the answers that we can. Call our Coach Link advisor. That team is always ready to help you as well. So thanks for joining us today. Enjoy your adventures. Enjoy your travels. Be safe, and we'll see you back here. Where